Hello, everybody, and thank you for tuning in to the Indiana State Police Roadshow. I'm your host, Sergeant John Perrine, Public Information Officer from the Indianapolis District. The Roadshow is brought to you each and every week by the Indiana State Police Alliance and Cops for Kids, a subsidiary of the State Police Alliance. For more information about our sponsor, you can find them at www.indianasfinest.com. I've got two fantastic guests for you today, and we're talking about a very exciting event. Uh, to my far right is uh, First Sergeant Ron Galavez, PIO from the uh, headquarters. Good morning. Yep. And uh, t a guy that's on every year this time of year because we, we we're so passionate about this topic. Uh, Master Trooper Pat Edder from the State Police SWAT team. Thank you very much. Thanks. So so again, it's the time of year where we really get to uh, an opportunity to give back to some of the kids in our communities, and that's exactly what this is about. It's the Bartram Christmas for Kids event. Uh, and it's uh, December 7th down in, in Greenwood, Indiana. So I'm going to let Pat talk real briefly about what, did it, what are we doing that day? Yeah, so uh, it's our annual um, Trooper Bartram Memorial Foundation Christmas for Kids. Mm -hmm. um, we have worked throughout the year up to this point of raising financial needs to take about 200 kids wow. uh, shopping. Um, so it's uh, quite a large undertaking. Mm -hmm. So we have several things we do throughout the year to uh, to raise some money. We have some very gracious donors that um, that help us with that cause and uh, make that possible. Because we're not just talking twenty five dollars a kid, right? I mean, we we want these kids to to really get an experience. It's around one hundred twenty five dollars wow. a child, um, and that pretty much gets them a full shopping cart yeah. of clothing and. Yeah things like that. We are tax exempt, so we don't have to pay that tax and mm -hmm. that helps that a little helps bit, a lot, but uh, yeah. you can pretty much almost fill up a shopping cart if you uh, if you shop wisely. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So again, you know, law enforcement agencies across the great state of Indiana and across the country do this type of event every year and it grows more and more. I see more and more departments doing this, but this one is, is pretty rich in history. How long have you guys been doing the Bartram Shop with the Cop or Christmas for Kids? We started this program um, shortly after Trooper Pat Bartram was killed in line of duty in 1998. Mm -hmm. okay. And uh, he always partaked in this through the FOPs and Shop with a Cop. Yeah. And um, and I did a lot of those with him. I uh -huh. think I've pretty much done one every year in the last 25 years. So mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, when that happened, his sister started and his family started raising money for um, for that event, and yeah. they donated it to various um, counties for their shop with a cop, either yeah. with Morgan County or Marion County FOP. And um, so that started growing into more things, and um, they started doing a motorcycle ride. So that was our annual event every year was this big motorcycle ride yeah. and, and uh, raised the majority of the money. Um, back in about 2012, Kim came to me and wanted to start her own foundation. Uh, which I agreed to <clears throat> to help out on, and uh, then all of a sudden I was the president of the Trooper Bartram <laughs> yeah. Foundation, and yeah. uh, <clears throat> excuse me. So that's grown uh, work wise. That is, um, it, there's more and more and more involved yeah. in that every yeah. year, and the yeah. more we try to do, but it's well worth it. Come uh, December seventh, as as you know, you've uh, helped us yeah. many times down yeah. there, and and we uh, we invite the parents to our uh, event um, that they can help shop and mm -hmm. that that gives a little more time with the police officer to interact with the child as yeah. they're pushing a shopping cart and uh -huh. they can talk to mm -hmm. them and and help pick out some things and the parents make sure that we're getting the right sizes and all that yeah. good stuff yeah, yeah. and uh, so we'll put about uh, probably five or six hundred people in that Walmart wow. in that uh, outdoor living center area yeah. and um, and we, we provide some refreshments for them and, and some morning breakfast and and uh, and then take them shopping. So at this point, you're never going to turn down any financial donations. So if people want to donate, uh, they can go to the website. Is it BartramMemorial.com? Yes, BartramMemorial.com. So if, if you just want to donate money, but but more so right now, coming up on the event, what do you need, Pat? Well, we'll add children to this event if we have more financial uh, backing. So um, we're sitting pretty good right now, and I think we can... Uh, we have enough funding for those 200 kids. Okay. We also additionally take another 50 or so kids the next weekend on the 14th um, to the Meyer store in Greenwood. So mm -hmm. we go to Walmart on the 7th in Greenwood at County Line yeah. and Emerson, and uh -huh. then the Meyer store at 135 in Maine the next weekend, and we do the special needs kids there. Right. Um, it's a little quieter, mm -hmm. Um, mm -hmm. not as crazy as 500 people. Right, right. Um, so, 
Yeah, any financial needs um, we have, uh, or we still accept that, and that way we can add children onto this because it, this is the time where actually people are contacting us um, when they realize they might not be able to afford um, a very yeah, good Christmas yeah. for their kids and, and want just a little bit of an extra hand. Yeah, and I can tell you my experience with these has been pretty incredible. And, and First Sergeant Galvez, talk about um, what it means to the police officers to be able to partake in this because it's not about notoriety or, or look what I'm doing. It, it's really lifetime memories that are that are deep in your heart. Oh, absolutely. And, and, and those lifetime memories go both ways. I mean, this is something that these, these uh, little boys and little girls are going to remember for the rest of their lives. Every time that they see a police officer, they're going to associate the great time that they had during those couple hours of shopping and interaction that Pat spoke about. And likewise, you know, I've, I've been, I've been on the department for 26 years next month. I've had the opportunity to do very similar programs in, in, in another district, mm -hmm. but nonetheless, it touches your heart yeah. and it touches your soul to its core. And it's, it's more than about the Christmas spirit. It's, it's about, you know, being a human being and, and helping those in need and, it just you, you just cannot you the words don't don't explain it adequately yeah. how much it means and then so as you know raising my own children and teaching them you know the the benefits of helping others you know they yeah. see that firsthand so uh you know the what a tremendous job you've done over the years you know kudos to you and to this Thank entire you. group for continuing to build this yeah. program into the the model that it is I and mean, you guys should be very proud of yourselves in my experience these kids are so grateful i mean incredibly grateful and, and the, the most touching thing i've ever experienced and it's been almost every time i've done one is is these kids they have a budget and they know and they're not going straight for the 50 60 dollar video games you know they're, they're getting things that they want mm -hmm. uh a couple years ago a kid all he wanted was a football i mean that's the only thing he wanted was a football and what he wanted to do with the rest of his money is buy gifts for other people yeah. he wanted to buy gifts for mom and dad and brother and sister mm -hmm. Wow. Yeah. I mean, what a touching experience that was. Right. And so, Pat, tell tell people what happens because we've seen this so time and time again. You get to the cash register, and uh, oh, the, the budget was one hundred twenty five bucks, and we ring it all up, and oh, shoot, that, that's two hundred. It's two hundred dollars worth of stuff there. Do we make the kids put them back? Oh no, that's where that the extra financial help um, comes in hand yeah. at, at the end of the year when yeah. people donate. Yeah. And. Uh, most of the time an officer gets in his wallet yeah. mm -hmm. yeah. and um, we don't let them pay the cash register, but we have a donation box that sits there and they can put in. Yeah. And then at the end of it, when they give me this receipt, that's like uh, eight foot long. Um, and I look at the bottom of it and yeah. then we count that money in that donation box. And a lot of times there, there'll be customers in the, in the store that will mm -hmm. just walk up and hand an officer a hundred dollar bill maybe yeah. Yeah. and say, Hey, can you put this towards uh, your right. shopping today? Right. Uh, so we put all that together and then, uh, then walk into Walmart and I give them all that money and uh, write them a check and, uh, yeah. and then we're off. And so, so yeah, we, uh, we never turn gifts back. We, we tell the guys to stay, uh, take, take a right. pad of paper and write yeah. it down. Stay yeah, kind of yeah, close, yeah, but yeah. Um, I've I've seen officers uh, pushing a bicycle through there and uh, and buy that with their own money yeah. and some extra things. So yeah, um, yeah. these guys are the, the officers that come and and I invite everybody, not just the state police. I've invited every mm -hmm. and you've helped me a lot yeah. with that. You guys have every agency that I can think of. Yeah. We've sent emails to. Mm -hmm. um, I always run out of police officers mm -hmm. with two hundred kids. Um, it's hard to get 200 police well, officers. Let's in, go beyond one. police officers. If you're a firefighter, an EMT, a public servant, military, a military, and you want to do something, <clears throat> we'll use you. Absolutely. I mean, we'll assign a child to you. Exactly. It doesn't have to be a police officer in mm -hmm. uniform. Uh, so, and so you're more than welcome to wear your fire uniform. Right. I mean, we won't make fun of you or anything. And, uh, <laughs> There's but plenty of military uniform. There for yeah. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Um, but no, no we, we would love that help. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. And, so, uh, so keep in mind that this is a this is Bartram sh Christmas for kids. This isn't necessarily shop with a cop. Although most of them are law enforcement, <clears throat> we'll take anybody, right? Absolutely. You know, and again, he said that the need is there. I'm on both sides of the table. So, if you know somebody, or if you yourself uh, are willing to donate a little bit of time on December the seventh, we'd love to have you. And we also and, make this a family event, right? Yeah, you guys bring their wives. I, I tell and their officers kids. bring your wives and your kids, and actually. Um, they'll bring their kids and a lot of times we'll pair them up with kids that are the same age yeah. as their kids and then they help. Yeah. Um, and it teaches both of, of uh, yeah. the children a Very lesson, cool you lesson. know, to, to give to other people and, yeah. and yeah. help out. And, and a lot of them come back year after year. They love it. Yeah. So. Yeah. yeah. And so, you know, we get calls at the post often that say, hey, you know, 
how do I, part I want to be uh, a beneficiary of this program. Is there a way that people can, can reach out to you or, or are they kind of hand selected from, from members of the community? For the kids? Yeah, for, for kids to participate. You can reach out to us at the, at the website, mm -hmm. BartramMemorial.com. Um, my, my email, my department email is P-E-T-T-E-R at isp.in.gov okay um i can take emails on that all day long yeah and yeah. uh and, and we and, can't make any promises because we as much as we wish we could accommodate everybody but but we'll find something for you well and there's a lot of programs that yeah. we know of that mm -hmm. if we can't get you in ours we can get you in another one yeah um, so we coordinate with the fop with their shop with the cop and some other uh churches and things mm -hmm. like that and we double check make sure the kids are taken care of if yeah. you can't take care of yours and your organization we can maybe take care of them in ours yeah. Yeah. and then i would also encourage um all the officers out there if you have personal interaction with somebody while you're on duty uh, and i've had many troopers call me and say hey i i had a case the other day that mm -hmm. i worked and mm -hmm. and these kids are very needy mm -hmm. can what's the chances i can take them shopping i've never ever turned that down cool. i will find That's the great. money um yeah. to take those kids yeah. shopping yeah. so yeah. So invite, you know, give me a call or an email and, and we'll accommodate whoever we can. Yeah. Yeah. So what's the website again? So that people want information, they want to donate, whatever it may be. www.bartrammemorial.com. Okay. And, and for those that don't know, that this is uh, uh, kind of a continued legacy of Trooper Pat Bartram, who was, was killed in a, a traffic crash in 1998. Uh, and this was a passion of his, and you were a personal friend, not only a shift partner, but a personal friend of his. Talk a little bit about Pat and, and what he did uh, before before that he was well, killed in line of duty. When I was a, a young trooper, and um, those were uh, Pat and his brother Mike were twins, and they were two guys I looked up to. Um, always looked perfect in uniform, um, very professional, um, and they always gave back to the community in their karate and their church mm -hmm. and and this this program here. So we've tried to continue that on and, and his sister Kim always wanted to make sure that it, this was in honor of all fallen officers. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and we always uh, encourage other survivors to come. Mike Laird always comes shopping with us mm -hmm. and Cindy Wins and Reed. And, and we really encourage any of those survivors to come. Um, Deputy Pickett's, um, some of his family's going to be there this oh. year. They're going to try to. So uh, and that helps them to be around and, and see all the other officers and we get to interact with them. You know, we don't get to see them all throughout the year. So yeah, yeah. we do encourage the survivors to come and it, and it honors everybody. You know, Southport police has always been a huge, huge help right. with us. And, um, and, uh, Aaron Allen, when he, when uh, he always helped us when he died, Southport yeah. really stepped up and, and Stacy, uh, his wife has been a big help to the mm -hmm. foundation this year. And, and um, kind of taking over Kim's spot and give her a little bit of a break. And and um, so we have all this tremendous amount of help and that's that's how we're able yeah, to put yeah, this on every so. year. Without all that, we couldn't do it. So any first responder out there, police, military, uh, firefighters, EMTs. We'll let you drive your fire truck down there. Yeah, and, and, yeah. And, and all uh, the kids will love it. Out front. The kids love the yeah, fire trucks. They like them more than anything. <laughs> but uh, we need your help. And, and so December 7th, uh, at the Walmart in Greenwood, uh, right off I-65 there. Yep, County Line in Emerson, uh, yeah. Outdoor Living Centers. And what time we'll, do you we'll want folks that. there? Um, if the officers responder. can arrive um, anywhere between 9 and 9.15, the kids will be there 9.15 and 9.30. It, it's a somewhat of a uh, organized chaos getting everybody in there right. and getting yeah. them checked off and registered yeah. and yeah. making sure we got all those kids. Um, and uh, but, yeah. but get there when you get there, start interacting with the children, that's a good time to, to yeah. talk to them and, yeah. and shove and a few donuts in your mouth right, and, and, right. and their hey. families. And, and, uh, yeah. And then we'll get started, um, real close to 10 o'clock or maybe just a little bit before. And, and even retired law enforcement, you know, if you're out there and retired mm -hmm. police officer, retired firefighter and looking for something to do on December 7th, come on yeah. out. We, we could use the help. You can see all the guys again and, yeah. uh, and stuff. So it's yeah. it's a good uh, reunion of sorts, you yeah. could say. I will tell you this. If you've ever participated, and, and you will leave there fulfilled. I mean, you will leave there with, with a full heart for sure. Just yeah. Not just because of, of your opportunity to give back a little bit, but just your interaction with those kids that they, they've never had interaction with police like this before. And it's really neat to open If you've eyes. never participated, I, yeah. I highly encourage it. Yeah. So, so anyway, Bartram Christmas for Kids, December 7th. Uh, 
if you if you miss it this year, you know, we'll take donations all the way up and we'll do it again next year. So all year next year will be fundraising. Bartram Christmas for Kids, December 7th. Thanks. All right.